Hello, welcome to the tutorial. This is what we're doing. Let's get started. I'll begin with a small signature brush there. Uh, any sort of skinny uh, brush will do. And that, that is just titanium white over, um, it's sort of a reject painting, but I also use it as a palette when I was mixing paint. And that's what was left. So I'll just go directly over that. Um, obviously I'm just doing some simple cat contours and I got the ideas from Pinterest. Um, I went there and just looked up uh, simple cat graphics, uh, playful cat graphics or something and just found several that I really liked. I grabbed my pencil and just sketched out, you know, kind of really quick and loosely there um, what some of these uh, cat poses and typical cat stances and whatnot would look like and once I felt comfortable with the proportions and you know, just had a little bit of variety to work with, uh, I was good. So I just found uh, this little uh, piece of paper here um, that was just a palette um, and then a little reject there, study. And what I mean by palette is oftentimes I'll use scrap cardboard or um, uh, paper um, as a palette. So when I'm mixing acrylic paint, you know, instead of using a traditional paper palette or something, I'll just grab one of these rejects or something and just use it as a palette because uh, it really leaves some interesting marks and colors. And I can always go back like I'm doing now and use it um, for one of these types of uh, studies or, or paintings. And they work really well for that. And a lot of that underpainting, those uh, original marks from the study, and also from just using it as a palette, um, that stuff will show through. So even though I'm using uh, thicker acrylic paints, um, acrylic is transparent, most of the hues are anyway, and some of those uh, marks will shine through. Um, so that little touch of transparency there uh, from the medium will uh, allow uh, those marks to happen and I think it just gives the uh, a simple painting like this uh, a little extra you know dynamic feel to it so uh, just having the layers underneath things like that I think just add to the interest and sort of the abstract qualities and playfulness of the piece so you know I wanted to look like eh, it's just throw together a quick cat painting here um, sort of a carefree you know sort of moment and I think it all, all plays well together. So again, continuing to work with the blue, I believe that's a cobalt blue. Uh, there I just got a little bit of the white on my brush uh, from the, one of the cats, and I just kept on painting. So again, it just adds a variety of blue. Uh, some areas of blue were a little bit thicker and less transparent. Other areas are a little bit thinned out more with water and uh, therefore they're a little more opaque. Here I mix a little bit of green uh, in with the blues. I believe that's like an olive green or something pretty dark obviously and that just gives again a little bit of variety there so that's it. Um, let's have a look at the finished piece here and I hope you enjoyed the demo and that you can take one of your rejects and go explore. Have some fun with it. Try different subjects, and I look forward to seeing what you do.